I think we shot in 10 weeks, which that's not a bad uh, time to uh, make a movie, but you know, maybe a few more weeks could have helped. So that was part of it. That was part of the fun of it. We had so little time to think about it because actually I was doing 1900 in Italy for about eight months and I flew back and I started like uh, two weeks later. I had no time to think. I was, I was driving, drove, as soon as I got back, I started driving a cab. Well, Marty, it, w it was great because we would uh, work on certain scenes, certain things, and uh, improvise. You must think I'm pretty sick or something. You know, you must think I'm pretty sick. Right? You must think I'm pretty sick? Hmm? <sighs> The mirror scene, of course, is one that I uh, had fun doing. You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. We had what it was, and then we improvised, whatever. And that's what Marty put there was what it was. Huh? 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 I'm getting to that point where I'm forgetting what I did, but... Uh, <laughs> Catch you later, copper. What'd you say? We, we did a lot of improvisations actually before we shot the movie with videotape and applying that to uh, the script. I'm hip. <laughs> Buddy, you don't look hip. <laughs> Go ahead, have yourself a good time. Go ahead. New York uh, felt a little a little grittier where we shot in, uh, certain parts in, in Manhattan. This city here is like an open sewer, you know? It's full of filth and scum. And I read an article somewhere that some filmmakers were complaining about that now it's a little more cleaned up, but, you know... But for me, I don't... Um, it's still pretty much the same. I read the script a year earlier or two, I can't remember, and we just all responded to it. And there was just something about it that we all liked and wanted to do. I think that it was just the time that we were in our lives, age, energy, excitement, and whatever it meant to people at that time, which for some reason I would think it, it hit some kind of nerve, and that was my impression. When you're doing things, sometimes you don't know if it's going to do anything or affect anybody in any way or what just doing it and all I would say is maybe that's that's a reflection the, the you you yourself the actors the director everybody are, are reflecting a, a, a common feeling that's around something in the air that gets expressed in that movie it was uh, It's a long time ago. Well, when I read The, the Deer Hunter, I liked, uh, I, I thought the script was really terrific and uh, about these guys going away and coming home and, and uh, what happens to them and uh, I just thought it, it was a, a terrific script and Michael Cimino had done a lot of work on it and I was impressed with what he had done. That was a, another one that I really enjoyed working on. I think it's important with everybody like that. You're always, uh, you're interacting, you have that ensemble feeling or whatever, and that's always good. We spent uh, some time there, as I remember, and um, I responded to that, yeah. Actually being in combat, that's some, I could imagine it, but that I wasn't, so uh, there is a difference. Mike? Mike! We did do things like the helicopter scene when we were escaping on the River Kwai. I was actually, we all got on that and it 
pulled us up. We did one take finally where it lifted the whole bridge and spun it around and we fell into the water and that's when we we cut, I think we had six cameras. We were under the gun pressure to finish. And when you're shooting those kind of scenes, the stunt scenes with anybody, you gotta really keep keep you cool. It was a little, uh, a little, a little scary. I had actually met Sergio uh, a few years earlier for uh, Once Upon a Time in America. He wanted to do it, and I met him, and we he came to New York, and. Um, I wasn't, uh, I think he wanted, um, I forget who he wanted besides me, but it, it never happened. And a couple of years later, we got together again and it did happen. And it was his like dream project and working on it for years. That was his epic. We had done other movies. I don't know if it was epic. I mean, I'd, I'd seen his others, but that was like his real, you know, thing. I have not a gun in my hand for many, many years. My eyes aren't too good, even with my glasses. My hands shake. And I wouldn't want to miss Mr. Bailey. Well, he was very, as I say, an Italian simpatico, and his way of directing was, was good. He had it in his head, he knew what he wanted, and I, I'd say to him sometimes, well, just show me what you want to do. And uh, that's okay. Literally, a movement is something stylistically. I worked on that movie for a year. I remember that I asked the money uh, people who were controlled it at that time if we could have a, we'll have two previews, one with the way they'd like to see it and one with uh, Sergio, uh, or Sergio's version. And we did it, as I remember, I thought in two theaters, then simultaneously or the next night, Sergio's version was the one that we all felt was, uh, was better. But it was not, not a, a good situation. It's a classic thing between the distributors, the producers, one, and what the uh, filmmaker wants. And you have to listen to everybody and try and get it, uh, get the fine line of balance. Carry that stink of the streets with you the rest of your life. I like the stink of the streets. It makes me feel good. I like the smell it. It opens up my lungs. Sergio was really uh, terrific and had a good sense of humor.